just finished reading just finished reading it's about love my favorite book when i was younger and honestly it deserves my it deserves my favorite book title even now even now after so many years and i'm growing up and rereading this it was just such a nostalgia trip and i could see so much of myself that was in here because i think i just got it from this book i think that i took a lot away from this book and this has become a part of my daily life with how i live with how i love and i just think that that is so amazing and it's so personal to me i feel like i feel like uh, i feel like this book is a part of me and i cherish this book so much i think that it handles a lot of its topics so very well and just the writing it reminds me of my own writing because when i write i tend to use short sentences and i love the format of this book um uh, the right the writing style is obviously a lot of short sentences just like i said and then there are snippets of like script writing like screen writing because this is a book about uh, a film student who is going through a lot of things in his life and whew, now that i'm reading it again i see all of the new ones i see all of the small things that i didn't remember when i was younger but now i definitely see it all and this is a very i feel like this is a very complex story for a YA novel and um i think it handles them very well like Luke's relationship with his family, Luke's relationship with Leia, and especially Luke's relationship with Mark and the talk of violence in this book, especially men in violence. It's just like <sighs> it's so much. It's so much and it's so intriguing to read because the main character he's very young he's like 16 he's turning 17 by the end of the book and he's trying his best because his older brother got sent to prison so he has to show up he has to do his own thing he has to like i don't want to say be better but he has to step up to the plate you know and there is a lot of struggle there is a lot of expectation on yourself there is a lot of burden there's a lot of emotional complexity to it all and i just think that steven camden wrote this so so beautifully and it it totally reached me like there was this one page that i absolutely loved and it was luke's teacher talking to him and that was uh his teacher noah his film teacher and it really encapsulate what i think it is to live and to love in very simple terms but yeah it says here it all goes into the pot luke along with the first kisses and the broken bones and the packed bags and train journeys and the late night phone calls and funeral speeches all of it stuff just happens nobody knows why i didn't know that i would come back home but i did not because i failed because i chose to that's what matters that's what happens in my story and i'm fine with it i get to play with ideas and help other people do the same every single day maybe one day i'll write another film maybe i won't who knows i love what i do i love where i'm from and that i found my thing not everyone does and that's fine it is what it is but if you do find your thing something that beca- that makes your blood crackle you better damn well do it and it just touches on love on so many like fronts and i just think that this is an amazing book for why novel um i absolutely love it i'm still going to say this is my favorite book i am so proud to say that this is my favorite book because oh it's just it feels so personal and it feels so emotional in a way that i can resonate with and i just absolutely love that so much so so 
this is me saying that my favorite book will just be this book until I don't know a few years down the line I'll reread it and maybe this won't be my favorite book but this has been my favorite book for years and this is my favorite book and if I'm lucky this will be my favorite book for the rest of my life I don't know uh, but this book I cannot I cannot recommend this enough for people who love to love people who like to look at the different types of love and for people who just want to kind of go into another person's head with struggling with the idea of love and how to kind of persevere and to show your true self and to find your own truth to find your own future and your own thing to follow into into what you want to do in the future and just yeah i love this book so much i feel like i cannot give an objective uh, I, I cannot give an objective like statement about this book. I'm so incredibly biased because this book has shaped me into who I am right now. And I think it, it's going to continue to shape me. And basically, if you read this book, I feel like you'll know me. So, yeah. It's about love. Still my favorite book. And I absolutely love it.